So what do you think to disc brakes in the Pro Peloton? Do you think they're safe? How dangerous is a rotating disc brake in the event of a crash? I'm gonna use this very this mini watermelon to represent someone with a very small head. What kind of damage it causes when I force the wheel to stop, get it up to speed. Oh, that was that was an anticlimax. <laughs> That's all it did. Not that I would want that on my head, but you'd have to hold your head against the disc brake for a long time. Put it into the small chain ring. So I mean, this is basically just a, <laughs> look at that. This is basically just a, a melon grinder. That is some deep scarring. And this on here is all the flesh from your head. No flesh on the disc brake. All right, so the ultimate test is gonna be with my own hand. So we just get it up to speed in the, uh, in the 11 tooth. And then I'm gonna see, <laughs> see if I fancy sticking my hand in it. All right. Well, here goes. Uh, I don't, I don't wanna. Okay, so no pain, just a little bit of grease and an indentation where the disc brake connected with the hand. So what do you think about disc brakes in the Pro Peloton? Is it all a fuss over nothing and they should let them race with disc brakes or do you think they're a, <laughs> they're a danger to cyclists? Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see me stick more fruit into various moving parts of bicycles. Give this watermelon a thumbs up, my stunt double watermelon, for being so brave. He will have not died in vain. I'm going to go and eat him now. Thank you for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and don't try this at home. <laughs>